Hey you guys, Cliff with Mindful Motorcycling Adventures here and I want to walk you through my opinion as an adventure rider uh, on the TKC 80 versus the TKC 70. Now I'm riding the 1090 KTM, it's a 2017. I love this motorcycle, one of my favorite ever of all my afflicted little machines. This is one of my favorites, but as far as this tire is concerned, this is the TKC 80. It's a great tire. You can see here for the rear, it came stock with the bike. This is a 150-70-18. And after the first thousand miles, I punctured. So I had to plug it, and it's been sitting in the garage. And I've been running the TKC 70s since then. Now this is about a couple hundred bucks as I recall. TKC 70 is about a hundred or about a couple hundred dollars too for the rear. A little bit less for the front. You can see the front obviously has held up well. I'm gonna put this on the front again, but not the rear TKC 80. Because the TKC 80 on the rear, I've talked to guys who are getting 2,000 miles out of that thing. This has a thousand miles on it. Okay? So this you see this pretty well, 1,000 miles. So I might be able to grab the way I ride another 1,500 miles, 2,000 max for $200 tire. It's a lot of tire. More tire than I want to chew through. That's why I plug it, and that's why that rear is not going back on. Anyway, I'm going to put the Metis, the E07, I believe, on next. I have that on order. But as far as the, the way these tires ride, I love both tires. Now the TKC 70 wears much longer. I'm going to guess it is 70% on-road, maybe 30% off, but this tire, the TKC 70, actually performs really well off-road. Not as well, obviously, as the Nobby, the TKC 80. But again, it's going to wear longer. Now this has about 5,700 miles on it. And I'm going to leave this on the front. I'm going to keep this parked in the garage, the TKC 80 for the rear, and I'm going to put the Metis on the rear. So I'll be running soon the, the Metis E07 with the, um, I'm sorry, the TKC 80 back on the front. Okay, because I want more of a knobby. I've been doing more street lately, but now I'm shifting back to knobby, more dirt. My buddy Dave Tevis, who you're going to meet, and some other, uh, some other adventures that we do. Uh, we're going get, to get out in the dirt and hopefully record some mindful motorcycling adventures for you guys. But anyway, I love both tires. Both tires are priced as a premium tire. You can pick these tires up at pretty much any dealer uh, in, the, in America that I know of. I'm not much experienced riding internationally, guys, so... Uh, Hopefully that'll, that'll be on the board in the future. But for now, to recap, TKC 80 stock tire comes with the 1090, the 1190, the 1290, I believe. Great tire. Rear tire, two, three thousand miles, depending on how you ride it. Maybe more if you're really mellow. Front tire, six, seven thousand miles, what I would hope to get out of the front. TKC 70. Also a great tire, obviously less aggressive off-road, really comfortable on-road, both of these comfortable on-road, both of these great in, in wet pavement. Uh, obviously this TKC70 is not going to perform as well in the dirt, but out in Arizona where I ride, southwest, Utah, Colorado, this thing rides really well. And you can see, see that... Uh, the rear's got about 6,000 miles. I could probably push another 1,000 miles out of it, but I'm looking forward to getting those uh, TKC 80 back on the front and the Metis E07 on the rear. So I hope that helps you in your deliberation for tire selection for your adventure bike, whether you're riding a KTM, BMW, uh, Triumph, whatever your preference for steed, I'm sure you would get great pleasure out of either tire, depending on your rider writing preference. I'm Cliff Jones with Mindful Motorcycling Adventures. Thanks very much for sticking with me.